Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today we have a comparison between two Apple products, the iPad Pro and the iPad Air. Highlighting the features, con and pros, we will at the end have a conclusion on which will serve you best. Before we get to that, kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon to get more related videos when I post. Feel free to ask questions on the comment section below. Apple has with time amazed artists with their quality in the production of drawing iPads. We have seen them produce series from the iPad Mini, the iPad Air to the iPad Pro. The big question artists ask themselves is which series is the best and today we are going to have a head-to-head -head between the iPad Pro and iPad Air for drawing. Since the two models keep changing by either generation or year of production, we shall look at their latest versions. The iPad Pro 12.9 and iPad Air 5th generation. There are quite some similarities between the two including the introduction of the M1 chip and being the slimmest of their kind in the market but you will experience several differences along the way. In this guide, we will give you an honest opinion on the two models, highlighting the pros that overpower the other. Let's begin with the build and design. The two iPads are great when it comes to portability, with the iPad Air 5 harboring a panel size of 10.8 by 7.02 by 0.4 inches. The iPad Pro 12.9 on the other hand has a hand panel size of 11.04 by 8.46 by 0.23 inches. Apart from a small size, they both have a slim build that enables you to slide them into a backpack comfortably. This is made better by a lightweight build of 462 grams for the Air 5 and 643 grams for the Pro 12.9. They both are designed with the same Apple product design language featuring the industrial squared off edges. When it comes to colors, the iPad Air 5 comes with a wider option available in space gray, starlight, pink, purple, and blue. As for the iPad Pro 12.9, you only get a choice between space gray and silver. On top of the Air 5 is a button with fingerprint detection for authentication. On the other hand, Pro 12.9 goes for face detection for authentication facilitated by the True Depth Camera Array. Authentication is a key technology for privacy, and since both fingerprint and face detection is foolproof, it all falls to user preference. However, the iPad Air 5 steals the show when build and design are involved since it is both small in size and less heavy for easier portability and mobility. Screen and display. The small size might have won the iPad Air 5 the prize for the best portability. But when it comes to screen size it is quite the opposite. The diagonal screen size of 12.9 inches by the iPad Pro 12.9 offers a larger working area compared to the competitor's 10.9 inches. This comes in handy for an artist, as a larger presentation of your design always brings about inspiration and a wider view of your work. When it comes to the display, the iPad Air 5 screen features the Liquid Retina display boasting a screen resolution of 2350 by 1640 pixels with a pixel density of 264 ppi. The iPad Pro 12.9 however uses the Liquid Retina XDR display reaching a screen resolution of 2048 by 2732 pixels at a pixel density of 264 ppi. One huge difference though is the quality iPad Pro 12.9 seconds 120Hz response rate compared to Air 5 seconds 60Hz rate, courtesy of the ProMotion technology. All said and done, it is quite evident the iPad Pro 12.9 put in some work on the visuals, with the ProMotion technology low blow tipping the iceberg. Apple Pencil 2nd Generation Both tablets use the Apple Pencil 2nd Generation and you can tell by the quality of the pencil why. Although Apple does not reveal the level of pressure sensitivity the pencil holds, the stroke production and the response the screen offers to the pen create a natural and authentic experience. Additionally, the pen is comfortable for the hand and the slim build offers you a fatigue-free session even in long-term use. Processing and RAM memory Both iPads ensure fast processing courtesy of the new ARM-based M1 chip for a 3 times faster CPU power. It is the latest and best Apple CPU technology if not in the market, and you are guaranteed minimal lagging and processing. RAM on the other hand is a different story, with the iPad Pro 12.9 coming hard with a quality 16GB RAM compared to Air 5 seconds 8GB RAM levels. You can also get an iPad Pro 12.9 model with an 8GB RAM if the larger sized model might be priced higher considering the higher RAM and internal storage levels. This means that the iPad Pro 12.9 2022 is faster in running multiple programs simultaneously and additionally rendering files faster and more efficiently. Although the processing speed might be similar since they both feature the M1 chip, 
iPad Pro 12.9 wins this round since it harbors a larger RAM level. Internal Storage When it comes to the internal storage the iPad Air 5 offers you only two internal storage and you can choose between 64GB and 256GB of internal storage. iPad Pro 12.9 however offers you a wider range of options that are configured according to RAM. For the 8GB RAM model, you can pick an iPad Pro 12.9 with either 128GB, 256GB, or 512GB of internal storage. If you need more storage, you will have to go for the 16GB RAM model harboring a massive 1TB or 2TB levels of internal storage. Since the iPad Pro 12.9 offers you a wide range of options, you can choose your preferred size with options going as far as 2TB while the iPad Air 5 best size goes for 256GB. If you are straining on budget, the Apple Air 5 might just be the one for you with the 64GB internal storage model going for just under $599. As for the larger 128GB internal storage model, it goes at just below $749. When it comes to the price of the iPad Pro 12.9, the models range from $1,200 to $2,200 posing a challenge for most users. Conclusion The Apple Air 5 challenges the iPad Pro 12.9 in terms of portability and budget but when it comes to other features such as screen display, RAM, and internal storage, the Pro 12.9 comes on top. Similarities in processors and stylus return the Apple Air 5 to the competition meaning the price is quite friendly if you need a cheap iPad for drawing. However, if you are looking for the best iPad for drawing, then the iPad Pro 12.9 2022 is the best option for you. That said and done, remember to share, like and subscribe to get a hold of the next video. Goodbye.